Hey everyone, Mary Meet. This is Anastasia Adamfire, and today is day 14 of my 30 days of Samhain crafting. Tonight I made a herbal blend base uh, for meditation, which I'm calling my Autumn Falling Leaves of Autumn Meditation Blend. Basically, this is an idea that I got uh, a couple of weeks ago. I had a very long day at work. It was very stressful. I just wanted to get home and and you know, grab a bottle of beer and sit and watch Netflix and chill and all that jazz. And that was so not in the cards. I, I not only had to go pick up my little girl and then do some running around, it, it just, traffic was terrible. Everything was going wrong. And I was just angry. So, so angry. Um, I came to a stoplight and I was physically shaking. I was so irritated and mad with how things were. And all of a sudden I noticed this beautiful, beautiful tree. I don't know what kind it is. I need to get better about finding out what, what tree is what aside from oak, elm, maple, uh, aspen, and apple. Those are the ones that, and, and willow obviously, and birch. Those are the ones I can tell. But other than that, I kind of am at a loss. Um, but it was a big, beautiful tree, and it was kind of this golden amber color with the leaves having turned. And all of a sudden, as I was sitting there watching it, just kind of thinking and going over everything in my head, I noticed a few of the leaves starting to fall. And I don't know about anyone else. I'm probably the only person, <laughs> but I personally have never watched leaves fall from a tree simply because it's their time to fall. Um, I have watched leaves be blown off of a tree with the wind. I have watched, um, I've watched them being shaken out of a tree by people picking apples or, or shaking a tree. <laughs> um, but otherwise I've never watched that process and just watching this tree losing its leaves just because it was time to. I, I started thinking about the process that it was going under. Uh, the just, just the fact that this, because it, it was just so peaceful and so beautiful and, and really spoke to me. And and it was just happening because it was its time. It It was... It was doing this just because it was supposed to. And I, I don't know if this is getting, if this is a concept that can be clear to anyone else, but it, I'm not sure how else to phrase it. But in my life, and I don't know about any of you, but in my life, a lot of things happen because they have to. I have to get up every morning at a certain time. I have to get my daughter ready at a certain time. I have to be out the door. I have to be at work. I have to do X, Y, and Z at work. I usually have a few personal things I also have to do on at work, usually on my lunch break. I have to, you know, get out of work by a certain time to pick up my daughter. And then uh, sometimes it it's me picking up dinner. Um, then, then there's crafting and studying and all sorts of other stuff. And that's not even including housework and running around and even things that are fun. Like for me, I love shopping, especially with my little girl. She's so hilarious when it comes down to shopping. Um, but in the fall, I love going to the apple orchard. I love picking out pumpkins. I love going on hay rides. I love doing all this fun stuff. But even that turns into it needs to be scheduled. It needs to have this plan. And it never seems to just fall into place. Things rarely just kind of happen because they're supposed to in my life, in everyday life. And here's this tree and, and it, it just, it's time for it to start losing its leaves. And, and it does so and it's so beautiful while it's doing so. So then I started contemplating the whole death process and decay process because that's why this was taking place and I, I just suddenly was going on this idea of these concepts of you know not letting my life run me but instead just living my life and letting it run itself to 
that the concept of, of dying and the, the process that it would undertake and how something so beautiful could be in its last stages of life and what does that mean and just all these huge, huge topics and spiritually, you know, resonating things. And I realized I was calm. Every bit of anger I felt, every bit of frustration, irritation, irksomeness, everything was just gone. And the light, oddly enough, right at that time when I realized it turned green and I left. And, and so all of this had to have taken place in, you know, a matter of minutes, but it was this amazing thing. And as I started on my way, I'm like, I, I need to make a meditation, something for this. I don't know if it's an oil. I don't know if it's an herbal blend. I, I have no idea, but I need to make something because this is such a powerful thing for me. And I, I... If nothing else, it reminds me that I need to take the time to get out into nature, especially during the season. I mean, every season there's a lesson to learn. And for me, this is really autumn's lesson for me this year. Um, this craft is much more autumn-based as opposed to Samhain, but it does deal a lot with that going inward that meditation, uh, possibly releasing things. Um, and, and those are all definitely themes of the Samhain season. So what I have here is a leaf, wood, herb, and flower blend. Um, it's a 13-item blend. And um, in it we have elm leaves, oak leaves, maple leaves, apple leaves, an aspen leaves, hawthorn leaves, and then um, I have yew wood, sandalwood, and then I have um, some calendula, uh, passion flower, chamomile, mugwort, and anise. Um, the leaves, aside from the hawthorn, I actually just went out to the park uh, by my place and actually the whole family went. We all went down and they played at the park while I ran around like a crazy woman collecting all these leaves. And so I was able to get, you know, just a myriad of colors and I really liked the, the reds and the oranges and the greens and the yellows and even I, I grabbed a lot of um, aspen leaves, which were brown, because you still need that that brown color, if nothing else. I found it to be very grounding, and I, I liked that. Um, and then the hawthorn. I wish there were hawthorn trees by me, but they're not. Um, so I did get some from my local witchy shop. Uh, you wood and sandalwood both were also at the witchy, er, everything else was at the witchy shop except the chamomile, which I harvested from some, um, seeds I had planted a year or two ago. So that is the herbal blaze, herbal base. Um, I've already made one witchy orb out of it. I'm going to make, um, possibly some oils with it, another witchy orb or two, and then the rest of it I, I plan on just using as incense for meditation purposes. Um, but yeah, that is it. And I do still need to add, I wanted to get this on camera, my additions for the Lord, Lady, Good Folk, and the Spirits of the Elements. For the Good Folk, we have a Star Anise. For the Lord, I have a Juniper Berry. Juniper... Um, I have a ton of juniper things because I, I love juniper, um, but I associate it much more with Yule um, and kind of the, the more wintry months as opposed to autumn. Uh, I did include it um, as the representation for the Lord, but that was it. Uh, the reason for the representation of the Lord, I kind of wanted to put a foreshadowing on there of what was to, to come as far as seasons is con are concerned. Um, and Juniper is very much a male-driven 
or for me at least. Um, this is actually a little, it, I thought it was a berry, but it was off of the apple tree, so I'm wondering if it's like a little crab apple or something. Um, but since it was off the apple tree, I'm using it for the lady. And then I'm putting in my Onyx Crystal Chip uh, for Earth, my Carnelian for Fire, my Amethyst, you can't really see it there, it's, there we go, Amethyst for Water, and Clear Crystal Quartz for Air. And I'm going to put that into a jar and kind of let that sit for a bit and then uh, make an oil with it as well. So I hope this was somewhat entertaining, informational, what have you. Um, just kind of a quick, a, a quick craft to actually make, but uh, was developed over a period of time. So it really meant a lot to me. I hope that I kind of explained things. If you have any questions, please don't feel, don't hesitate there we go don't hesitate feel free to uh, comment I usually really quick to answer um, like subscribe all that fun stuff um, if you're on Facebook check me out there as well all right well I think that does it for tonight's video I'll see you guys tomorrow blessed be have a good night guys